The Horus One satellite, built through cooperation between Egypt and China, has been launched into orbit. It will boost the North African country's remote sensing capabilities, enabling it to provide imaging and scanning services to the Middle East and Africa. Here is Adil Makroy with the details. From the Gobi Desert, a Chinese rocket took a new Egyptian satellite to space. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of the sky, Horus-1 will be the first in a series of remote sensing satellites Egypt and China aim to build together. It's a new milestone in space cooperation between the two countries. Thanks to the cooperation between Egypt and China, the advanced industrial technologies found at the Satellite Assembly and Testing Center. In it, China is funding a telecom satellite project worth 22 million U.S. dollars. This satellite is currently being developed and the space partnership between Egypt and China continues to grow. We have issues in many areas like water management, agricultural expansion and crop yield. We have been relying on information we get from satellites that we do not own. In our field, we have a saying that goes, he who does not own the skies does not own their land. That is why we need to produce such technologies to enhance our tracking of crop diseases, water clogging and climate change. Horus One is a crucial investment that will save the hefty bill Egypt used to pay for imaging and scans of its mainland. The satellite has a footprint that covers parts of the Middle East and Africa, so Cairo now will be a remote sensing service provider. I went to Wuhan University where I saw a remarkable model where a corporation was established and based in the university. The purpose of this corporation is to meet China's space needs and the purpose of the professors, masters and PhD students is to serve this corporation with their research. This is a trending model of knowledge-based economy that serves societies. That model directly helps in achieving sustainability. Cooperation between Egypt and China in space technologies began in 2018. One of the main purposes of that cooperation is to domesticize satellite manufacturing in Egypt. Although China took part in the space race later than the USA and Russia, it is now witnessing huge development in that field. They have their own space station. When I went there, I saw that they have a very clear space roadmap. Their cooperation with other countries in that field is much bigger than what the other space agencies have. With China, there are great opportunities for joint research and projects. Horus One solidifies Egypt's position as an African leader in space technologies. With its high-definition cameras and scanners, it's able to analyze soil, monitor water and climate changes, all of which will not only contribute to Egypt's development, but will also help in Africa's economic growth. Adele Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.